Okay, so for this problem, we have to find V0 and I0. We can see I0 is the current through the 2, M, 2 ohms uh, register branch and V0 is the voltage across this 8 ohms resistance. Now, this is a node here and this one is the ground. So, if we apply KCL at this node, we can write the current equations, Kirchhoff's current equations for this node. So let's try doing that. So we can see that 9 amps, this is an entering current. So what I will do, I will write the entering current on one side and the leaving currents on the other side. So 9 amps is the entering current that's there and other um, other currents are all leaving or I will write in terms of leaving. This is leaving anyway, I not is coming down. So that's I down I naught plus this current is I naught over 4. Now this is something we need to talk about a little bit. This is a dependent source. This is actually to be precise this is current dependent current source. So this is a current source because this one has, a, has an arrow here not a plus minus. That means this is a current source and this one says that this is a dependent current source. This shape and it is current dependent current source because its value is dependent on a current which is the current of this branch if it were depend if it was dep dependent on a voltage uh, then it would be a voltage dependent current source so it has the character of a, a it is a current source and it is dependent on a current that's why it's a current dependent current source so there so this is also going down the, that current. We will just write the value of the current and this is uh, depending on this current which is the current through the 2, two, amps, uh, two ohms resistance. And then we have to find the current of this branch which will of course be the voltage if we apply if we recall Ohm's law that will be a current is voltage divided by resistance. So the voltage is here given V0. So this will be V0 over 8 that will be the current. So this is our equation the Kirchhoff's current law equation. We have two unknowns here. We have only one equation. So we will try to relate V0 with I0 and if we see since this is these three branches are parallel these all these four branches are parallel and the voltage drop uh, across the parallel branches uh, is V0. It's the same actually, it has to be the same. So the same voltage drop here, the same voltage drop here. So here also the voltage drop is V0. If this voltage drop is V0 from Ohm's law, we can see that V0 will be 2 times I0 because Ohm's law tells us V is equal to IR or I is equal to V over R. We, we wrote I in terms of this one here. But now we can say that V0 will be I, uh, I0 times 2. So V0 is I0 times 2. That's from this branch we can say. It's because the voltage drop is V0 and the current through the 2 ohms resistance is I0. So V0 is equal to 2 times I0 or I0 is equal to V0 over 2. So we have this relation. Now what we will do? In this equation, we will substitute V0 with I0. So we will go back here. We will write this again, this equation, this one. So that's I0 plus I0 over 4 plus 2I0 over 8. So this is becoming 9I0 plus I0 over 4 plus I0 over 4 because 2I0 over 8. So this is I0 i naught plus i naught over 2 so this one is i will just multiply both sides uh, side by 2 so that's 18 here that's 2 i naught plus i naught so i naught 3 i naught is equal to 18 that is i naught is equal to 6 amps so we know the value of i naught so we can also say what's the value of v naught v naught will be 2 times i naught so that will be 2 times 6 that is 12 volts. So our V0 is 12 volts 
and our I naught is 6 amps.